My party trick is that I can literally put my fist in my mouth, but I often figuratively put my foot in my mouth. Hopefully this being pre-recorded will remove that possibility, but we'll see. My name's Audrey and I work for Wellbeing Works, a mental health charity in Dundee. I'm an enterprise development worker working to develop an enterprise development hub, which is less Star Trek-y than my ideal job growing up. But this past year sure has given me a lot of experience with video communication, which is Star Trek-y enough, I guess. In February 2020, I thought the biggest hurdle of my time to shine year was a delay to the renovation of what would have been our new premises and training cafe. How wrong I was. A lot has changed over the past year. My original task of creating a training cafe for our participants has changed to developing a community toolbox for the people of Dundee, what would be a library of DIY tools and kitchen equipment available to rent for a small membership fee. We will be operating from our new premises, but not the same one I was worried about a year ago. This past year feels like three years and three months all at once. It's hard to focus on highlights and lowlights when scenery cannot change. I have to admit though, waking up to it being minus 12 degrees without counting for wind chill the other week did make me appreciate the two steps I needed to walk to my workspace than the 4,002. My year on the Time to Shine programme has been a time of growth and self-discovery, but above all, a year to remember. My name is Megan and I'm the Marketing Officer at King Standing Regeneration Trust. During this year, I have upskilled in website design and development, management of social media campaigns and creating marketing materials for the Connecting Communities project, a project which brings local communities together in order to build a strong, cohesive and prosperous community. My development in the field of marketing has been supported by the Rank Foundation funding, which provided much needed social media training. This has helped us grow our target audience and reach many more people who need our help. The charity have since received further funding from the Big Lottery to help us become digitally empowered and continue the work of the charity via an all singing, all dancing website and learning management system. So young classroom phobic people can continue to learn and train. I am fortunate enough to be continuing my time with King Standing Regeneration Trust, and I look forward to supporting the charity in my role for future projects. Thank you, Time to Shine. Time to Shine programme means for me more than just a job. I'm Vanessa and I'm the funding officer for Memory Matters Southwest, an organisation whose focus is on improving the lives of people affected by dementia. The Time to Shine journey for me has brought me opportunity, focus and friendship. In a job role, it's really easy to become task orientated, but the Time to Shine programme has meant that my personal and professional development has stayed relevant within the 12 months. And I have learned habits which I will continue and uh, even after the programme. It's been amazing to be able to focus on a role that was well needed at Memory Matters and to know that another organisation will want to review the impact that their funds have had is a real incentive to stay focused. It's been really nice to meet like-minded people who are willing to share their skills and experience. And I know that I've made friends for life through the Rank Network. Glowing, growing and going. It's my time to shine. And what a time to be alive. Me, Angelita. I'm defined by Christ, I'm dynamic and under development with a dash of dyslexia. I ooze creativity, I'm contemplative, I champion change makers. I believe collaboration is necessary. Comedy is one of my fuels. Shh. The other main squeeze and constant is Christ Jesus. Resilience has become a thread that is a part of me and keeps me together. On this journey of time to shine in a global pandemic, one has had to plandemic. Walls, 
Walls are to challenge you, get you thinking, out of the box. Will, you have decided what you're willing to do to get to that next step. Get out of bed, get out of your head. Wisdom is the principal thing we need in all we do. Your experience, your trials, triumphs and testimonies are yours to own acknowledge and at the right time to share as i speak to you now it's been just over a year of starting this amazing journey of time to shine and truly whatever was dark in terms of my academia and in terms of my professional life and in terms of next steps it's no longer it's no longer dark the light's been switched on and i'm thankful for the time to shine journey and today, I celebrate. Hi, my name's Rosie. I spend my time showing you with Tayport Community Trust. I work at the Larrick Centre, which is a brand new community centre. The build was complete just a week before the pandemic hit. The sociable, hands-on role I'd signed up for became one sat at my desk at home with little idea on how to move forward and two children who needed my attention. The centre finally opened in July. There was no weekend long party as been planned, but with time we found our way through the guidance and restrictions. My role has evolved to focus on community engagement, in particular with children and families, and I'm also the coordinator of our new community fridge, which is growing from strength to strength. I found a way to run several craft workshops face to face with groups of children, and it was wonderful. I then ran a programme of family workshops, which were fun and joyful. The feedback has been entirely positive and has brought a feeling of hope as children can do. It's led me to alter my path a little and head towards a career as a teacher. So a difficult year, but not without some positive outcomes. What Time to Shine has taught me, Time to Shine has taught me to be me, be brave, put my brave pants on. I'm a parent care of an extremely complex child and actually now um, realising that she's taught me as much time to shine has. Um, my daughter Anne, my job has uh, pushed me outside my comfort zones on many, many times. Um, my daughter is the inspiration of everything that I do nowadays and I'm extremely proud to have been part of the time to shine and creddy. Um, my dyslexia doesn't hold me back anymore, but actually I find it's a superpower. I hid behind being dyslexic for 14 years and now I finally feel that my life has begun. It doesn't hold me back anymore. I feel I've woken up. My daughter has shown me um, through a lot of what I've had to do with her. I've had to do a lot of writing and it's nothing to be ashamed of. We've all got a superpower. Trying to sum up this past year in one minute is nigh and impossible, but I'll give it my best shot. Hi, I'm Stephen and I'm the Marketing and Communications Assistant at Greener Kirkcaldy. That year it was a bit different, wasn't it? It started off great, went down to Morecambe with a fair bit of anxiety of not really knowing what to expect, but left with new friends and a newfound confidence that I'd never had before. I was starting to get my teeth properly into the role and then Covid hit and put all of our plans on hold. But one of the most proudest moments of the year is how I, as an individual, and how us as an organisation adapted to the new world we live in. Overnight I became a video editor and an online tech support person, which definitely wasn't in the plan. But I'm really happy that I got the opportunity to do. Our general plans did come to fruition. We complete, completed our new marketing strategy. I took the lead on such on our social media, on our website, our newsletter and our media volunteers. Also the amount of training I've done over the past year has been huge and it's helped me a lot. I leave the Time to Shine programme a much more skilled and confident person than before so thank you to Time to Shine for the opportunity. I look forward to keeping the good work we have started going with Green Kirkcaldy.